Billy, you so crazy. Yo, what's cracking? What's bracking? It's your boy. Billy, you so crazy, and we back, and we back, and we back, and we back with another one. All right, y'all read the title, you already know what I'm doing. This is Craig Morgan, Paradise, the perfect soldier song. This was suggested by the one, the only Mr. Michael Daniels. I appreciate you so much for being a part of the crazy pack, a fellow veteran. Your support has been amazing, man. I tell you, man, my crazy pack members, like, tell you, like, y'all, that small community, y'all don't understand, man. I, I love y'all. I really do. I love y'all. But anyways, this is a Veterans React, all right? I haven't heard this song, but I am familiar with Craig Morgan, and he is a he is a great songwriter, all right? But if you're new to this channel, welcome. Please be a part of the So Crazy family by hitting that subscribe button. Comment down below right now what you want to see me react to next, and I will have it up for you when I get the chance, all right? Follow me. All my social media links are right there somewhere. Enough talking, y'all. Let's get straight into this. I don't know why I left. I don't know why I left. But I know it won't be long. Oh. We used to, uh, used to, first of all, I used to call it cheerleading after a while, but when you sing Cadence, you used to, man, I remember the first time my son came, so happy, so excited. I couldn't wait to be out in the front and call it. Then after a while, it was just like, yo, I used to hate going on like battalion runs and oh my gosh, we would have to, after a while, you know, some soldiers love to do it, but after a while, you're just like, oh, please, I, can we just run? <laughs> Can we just run, please? Like, I, I don't even really want to be here, you know? Can we just run? But at the beginning, you used to, you would just feel so like, ah, uh, whoa, you know what I'm saying? All my veterans know what I'm talking about. They gave me a green uniform and black boots for my feet. Eighteen and wild as hell, I thought it would be neat. They put me on a plane to some strange foreign land. Oh. I said goodbye to mom and dad and hello to Uncle Sam. Once I was a soldier, not afraid to die. Now. So true, so true. Every day I'm thankful just to be alive. When you've been where I've been, any kind of life is paradise. Michael literally hit the hit hit the nail with the hammer when I tell you like I don't know if y'all understand when I when I tell y'all that my transition from the military to where I'm at now, like literally life changed in 10 months, like and in the six months prior to when I was getting out transitioning, those were the hardest months of my life to where I'm at now. Now, granted, those were the hardest times of my life, but at the same time, it wasn't as bad as, you know, when I look at it now, but at the time, everything always feels bad in the moment, like everything legit always feel bad in the moment. But when you're far away from family, overseas, doing what you gotta do or whatever. Trust me, like there's certain things that you just, like I, I literally used to take for granted just having my own space, like privacy. I talk about this in, in another video, um, but y'all might not have seen it. But regardless, I, people in the military, y'all know y'all know how like, you don't really have that much privacy. You there, There's no such thing. Like you just get used to doing everything in front of everybody. Well, it's a new military now. I was in an infantry unit, so it, it used to be all men, but now they, you know, as I was processing out, they started integrating more women. So, you know, it was a different thing, but you know, when it was all men, when I was when I was still in before they started transitioning women in, it, you, you did literally everything in front of everybody. It didn't, we all had the same thing. It really didn't matter. Now, granted, you can't, you can't really do it now. I don't know, I'm not in. Thank God I'm not in, because I can't deal with that type of stress. I don't know, I can't, I'm just, I didn't come up in that time, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. Anyways, not to say that that's an issue, but it's just that there's too many. Those that are serving right now, y'all know what I'm trying to say. All right. I ain't even going to go no further into the politics because I'm not even in no more. So why the hell am I stressing like this? 
<laughs> Yo, Mike, you got me. You got me with this. You got me with this one. Christmas of 89 was a lonely time for me. Oh, man. And was probably fine, but it was nothing like Tennessee. I never thought the day would come and I might have to kill a man. Ooh. Did not sleep a wink that night, but we won for Uncle Sam. You gotta do what you gotta do. Once I was a soldier, not afraid to die. Now I'm a little older, not afraid to cry. Every day I'm thankful just to be alive. I swear, I swear. And I do notice that when I do like my veteran react series that I have a lot of veterans that are retired or still in that watch the videos. Shout out to all you guys. But then I also know that there's an influx of, you know, kids that are coming out of high school that's been looking at service and stuff. Look, just do as you're told. All right. Some of y'all be asking me questions about how to make it through basic training and all that stuff. Like, just do what you're told. It's that simple. Like, I just want to take a moment to just address that just because I am aware that there are some that some people that because i know when i was going through the process of joining i youtubed everything that dealt with even though my dad served and i could have you know picked up the phone but you know i come up in a time where youtube was a thing so i just youtubed everything so i know that if you're watching this video right now you're probably one of those Trust, no matter what type of video you, everybody's experience is going to be different keep that in mind so don't let someone else influence what your opinion or you actually going through it I can't I can only tell you from my own personal experience, but don't take mine as if it speaks for the whole army because every unit is different. Every job is different. You might have a way different experience than I will. So just keep that in mind for those that are, you know, looking to join a service and curious like, oh, well, how is it and all that stuff? You may as soon as you leave basic training, you may end up in a war zone or you may not. soldier song now I know why it says the perfect soldier song like I it's so true it is so true I tell you man I, I wake up every day and just be so thankful for the opportunities and in the life that I look like y'all just don't understand man <laughs> blessed blessed <sighs> especially since you know <laughs> go they they still got to pay you. You know, I don't even get into all that. Yo, shout out to my man, Michael Daniels. I appreciate you for being a part of the uh, crazy pack. Like, from one vet to another, all my veterans out there that's watching, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. I tell you, mm, civilians don't, don't understand. They don't understand the sacrifices. They don't get it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just chop that right there. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below right now what you want to see me react to next. Follow me on all my social media links are right there. Send me a message on any one of those. Um, shout out to all the crazy packs. Shout out to the crazy family. I tell you, I'll change my life in ways you'll never understand, but I am forever grateful for it. That's all I got for you. It's your boy, Billy. You so crazy. And I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out to stay. Peace.